Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we would be simulating a diode mixer circuit. So in this particular tutorial, the simulation is done through KiCad tool. So for more such KiCad videos, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Open the KiCad tool double click on the schematic file as shown in this particular tutorial and click on add a symbol now in this particular library type 1n91 which is the diode we would be using for this diode mixer circuit now place this particular diode on the schematic window and next we have to place other components such as the resistor and the capacitor so type R and select this particular resistor and place this particular resistor in the schematic window in order to rotate use the R button on the keyboard so place two resistors as shown in this particular tutorial next we have to place a voltage source so type p spice and select the v source and place this particular v source on the schematic window so place the first voltage source and then again select the v source and place the second voltage source as shown in this particular tutorial now we have to place the capacitor so type p spice and place the capacitor as shown in this particular tutorial next place the cursor on the schematic window and type p spice and select the inductor now in order to rotate the inductor use the r button on the keyboard and place this particular inductor as shown in this particular tutorial now we have to place the ground connections before that right click on the diode click on properties define the reference as d1 and click on spice model now we have to select the appropriate diode model so select the appropriate diode model which is 1N914 and type the alternate sequence node as 2 space 1 now right click on the capacitor click on properties edit property and define the reference as C1 and the value as 2 microfarad right click on inductor click on properties define the reference as L1 define the value as 2 micro henry now right click on the resistor click on properties define the reference as r1 define the value as 50 ohm right click on second resistor and click on properties define the reference as r2 and define the value as 50 ohm now right click on the voltage source click on properties define the reference as V1 and define the value as 0 select the sinusoidal define the DC offset as 0 amplitude as 3 volt frequency as 5 kilohertz and click OK right click on second voltage source define the reference as V2 define the value as 0 click on spice model select the transient analysis as sinusoidal define the amplitude as 15 volts and frequency as 150 kilohertz and DC offset as 0 and click OK now all the values of the components has been defined now click on power port and in the power section type ground and place the ground connection on the schematic window place the ground connection across the voltage source 1 
and also the second ground connection across the voltage second voltage source as shown in this particular tutorial similarly we have to place a ground connection across the capacitor c1 and the inductor l1 now click on wire connect the voltage source v1 to r1 voltage source v2 to r2 connect the r1 to r2 and connect the diode between the two resistor the other end of the diode is connected to the capacitor c1 and l1 and connect the capacitor c1 to l1 and the other terminal of the capacitor and inductor is connected to the ground connection now the other end of the diode is connected across the capacitor c1 and l1 now in order to simulate the transient analysis we have to place a text so type dot tran 1 millisecond and 3 millisecond and click ok and place this on the schematic window now save this particular schematic click on inspect and click on simulator now run this particular simulation click on probe place the probe across the output now you can see the diode mixer output thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below